Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for your contributions to my channel. Let's suppose you have a patient in pain, and you want to use a modality to help treat that pain. Which electrical stimulation modality is going to be your go-to to treat pain? For pain, we're pretty much using either TENS or IFC. Now, TENS stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, which gives you some clue as to what it actually does. IFC stands for interferential current. Now, for the patient's purposes, there's pretty much no difference between TENS and IFC as for what they do for the patient's pain. They function identically. Mechanistically speaking, on a physics level, there are differences between TENS and IFC in how they actually function. However, for our purposes in a clinic to reduce pain, there's really only a few differences between TENS and IFC that will hit throughout the course of this video. In any case, for treating pain, it's not really so much choosing between TENS and IFC because they basically do the same thing for the patient. What we really should be thinking about is what setting we're going to run the TENS or the IFC on. Am I going to run TENS or IFC on a conventional setting or an acupuncture-like setting, sometimes just called the acupuncture setting? Whether or not I'm going to use conventional or acupuncture settings depends on a couple of things. Number one is how long I can have the machine hooked up to a person or myself. So for example, let's suppose I wanted to hook a TENS or an IFC up to a person or myself for two to three hours. I can use the conventional setting with two to three hours. Why? Because the conventional setting, notice, can be used long duration. It can be a short duration, but it can be used up to 24 hours. Now, are you going to see TENS or IFC used for 24 hours? Probably not, but theoretically you could use the conventional setting up to 24 hours. Now, in reality, most clinics use the conventional setting for about 15 minutes, either at the beginning of a session or at the end of a session. Now, you're probably not going to see a TENS or an IFC used up to 24 hours, but if you did, you'd use the conventional setting. So if a person was on the job, let's say an 8 to 5 job, and they needed pain relief that entire time, you could hook TENS up to a person or IFC up to a person using the conventional setting, but it would have to be conventional. It could not be acupuncture. The acupuncture setting is more intense and it can only be used up to a max of 30 minutes. And so a typical treatment duration for the acupuncture setting is about 20 to 30 minutes. So if the acupuncture setting can only be used up to 30 minutes, what's the advantage of using the acupuncture setting when the conventional setting can be used up to 24 hours? Well, it has to do with the amount of pain relief that you get after the treatment is over. I can use the conventional setting of TENS or IFC up to 24 hours, but that pain relief or analgesia is only going to be present while the machine is being used. As soon as you turn off the machine, the pain relief is going to stop. It's immediate, but it's short-lived, only while the machine is being used. Acupuncture is a more intense treatment, and so you're not going to really have pain relief while it's being used. However, after those 20 to 30 minutes, you can have pain relief up to five hours after the treatment. So if a person were in a job situation, or really any situation, where they couldn't have the machine on them, but they needed pain relief while they were doing that job, you could set them up with an acupuncture setting for 30 minutes, and they would have pain relief potentially hours after that treatment was done. Now, do TENS or IFC machines just have a button you can push to uh, set it as conventional or acupuncture setting? No. Instead, you're going to have to program the pulse duration and the frequency. So for conventional setting, the pulse duration is going to be between 50 and 80 microseconds. As you go towards a higher pulse duration, there's always a chance you might elicit some pain in the patient. And obviously, we're not trying to cause pain. We're trying to eliminate pain. And so a safe bet is usually to start at that lower pulse duration and just see what the patient can tolerate. The lower the pulse duration here, the less likely you are to cause pain. But you're pretty much going to be safe around 50 to 60 microseconds. The frequency for conventional settings should be between 100 and 150 hertz. For frequency, it's the opposite. Normally, the higher the frequency, the more comfortable it is for the patient. So if I was just starting out with this, I would probably set it to 150 hertz, 
but a pulse duration around 50 to 60 microseconds for a conventional setting. Now, acupuncture setting is the more intense of the two. Now, being the more intense of the two, the acupuncture setting is going to elicit discomfort. So this is not going to be a comfortable treatment for the patient, and you need to let them know that. What you're looking for, uh, for an effective acupuncture treatment, is strong, visible muscle twitch. So in order to elicit a muscle twitch, as we'll see in a few minutes, the electrodes have to be on muscle bellies okay, in order to have a muscle twitch. That's what you're looking for, and this one is going to be uncomfortable. The conventional one is not supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to be a strong but comfortable tingling. You do not have to put the electrodes over muscle bellies for the conventional setting. Also remember the conventional setting is immediate pain relief, but it only exists as long as you're using that, mach that machine. As soon as you turn it off, the pain relief's gone. For acupuncture, after the treatment's over, so after the discomfort's over, right, you can have pain relief for hours, up to about five hours after the treatment is complete. Let's now look and see how you apply the electrodes. Now between TENS and IFC, the electrode placement for TENS is a lot more versatile. Before we get into that, let's understand a couple of things. So we have electrodes right here. They're probably not going to be colored like this, but these red ones are hooked up to red wires. The black ones are hooked up to black wires, right? Technically, uh, the black ones are normally cathodes. The red ones are normally anodes. That doesn't matter for TENS and IFC. You don't need to worry about that. There's really only a few uh, e-STEM techniques where you do have to worry about that, but not TENS or IFC. Now, with TENS, I can use two electrodes or four, and the arrangement of the colors does not matter. So for example, I can put this red electrode right here, I can put this one right there. Okay. I could put this black one right there. As long as there's two, it doesn't matter. I can also use four. Let me move these two up like that. I can put this black one right here. I could put this red one right there. It does not matter. I could bring the black one over here and the red one over there. Again, the orientation of these electrodes does not matter. I could have one black one over here, one red one right there. As long as I have two or four, you're going to get some pain relief. It does not matter. I could even have these two on the low back. I could have these two on the scapulas. Okay, it does not matter. That's the whole point. As long as there's two, or four. In contrast, IFC electrode placement is not very versatile. And so the big thing here is you have to use all four electrodes and they have to be crisscrossed. What do I mean by that? Well, if I have this red one right here, and this black one right here, and then the red one here, and the black one there, that is crisscrossed. I'm using all four of them. The black ones are diagonal from each other and the red ones are diagonal, okay? Um, again, I could move them up here. I could even space them out a little bit like this, but the whole point is that they have to be crisscrossed and you're using all four of them. Tens, I don't have to crisscross them. I can use two red ones, two black ones, a red and a black one, or all four of them in any arrangement. It really doesn't matter. But for IFC, you have to use this crisscross pattern. So hopefully that makes sense. Now back to this. Down here at the bottom, large region, small region, this is something that's not black and white, and this is really only if you're being very rigorous, and this is violated all the time, but it's just worth mentioning, because you might see it on an exam. For a large region of the body, like we have on anywhere on the back, really, you can use TENS or IFC. But if you have a small region of the body, it's better to use TENS. And the question is, why? Well, remember with IFC, you have to use all four electrodes and they have to be crisscrossed like this. Well, what if you have a situation where a person had an ankle sprain? So for example, here, if you're looking at pain right here on the lateral side of the ankle, okay, getting all four electrodes on there is gonna be quite difficult. And actually, really, the size of the foot is probably about like this relative to the size of the electrodes. And so you can quickly see that getting those electrodes on there, I mean, they're not gonna fit basically, okay? Instead, what you'd actually have to do is probably have one of these electrodes here, probably the black one up here above the malleolus, and then the other two would just be on the other side. You would be able to see them, 
Okay, um, and that creates some issues with using IFC because technically they're not crisscrossed, right? Because two are actually on the other side of the ankle. If you have a clinic that only uses IFC, uh, you can still do this and the patient will still get pain relief. Okay, it's not going to really affect the treatment by doing this. But if you really were being rigorous uh, for something like this, it's a smaller part of the body, you'd probably want to use TENS. But in practice, it's not going to affect it to use IFC here. You still want to make sure you're alternating red, black, red, black, but you can certainly put the other two electrodes on the other side of the foot. The very last thing to talk about here is what mechanism conventional TENS and IFC uses and what mechanism acupuncture TENS and IFC uses. So conventional TENS and IFC use something called a gate control mechanism. Acupuncture TENS and IFC use what's called the endogenous opioid mechanism. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of how to use e-stim to treat pain. We use TENS and IFC, and hopefully you understand the difference between the two settings, conventional and acupuncture. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.